Okay guys, so I'm going to walk you through the RGB. So RGB is up here at the top as you guys can see. Then when you double click, you'll see the RGB and the amounts of our red, green, and blue that is in there. When you double click on the color, there is the percentage of RGB, red, green, and blue, and those are the numbers you use. And there's also CMYK, which stands for cayenne, magenta, yellow, and key or black. So taking the code or number from every, for the RGB and adding that to each and every swatch, um, my swatch, my swatches, so designers, <laughs> All designers. Um, so the designer knows what colors to use while printing out my fabric in our design. CMY is mostly used when printing something with a printer with fabric. We use RGB. If if you will be using an image from the web, work with RGB. It works best for you. If you're going to print the image, work in CMYK in Illustrator and RGB in Photoshop. RGB is the color um, sites and of the computer monitor. It is an additive color in the system. Red plus green plus blue gives you white. This is what your monitor works in. CMY is the color of traditional four color processing printer. It is the modified form, the color wheel you learned about in primary school. Whether red plus Blue equals purple, and you you need to mix yellow and blue to get green. This all works in pigments. So that's basically how to find RGB and CMYKs. I print my stuff out in Spoonflower um, as a designer, and I RGB. So when creating your designs, remember to work and save your files in RGB mode. Being that I print a lot of my sample fabrics at Spoonflower, RGB is best for me. So I'm going to finish labeling my CMY and RGB numbers. If you'd like more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later.